Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a hybrid plug-in vehicle guys or electric vehicle. You need to check guys the battery voltage, the battery cells, the voltage in each cell, find out which cell is bad, stay with us, we will cover that today. It's not very complicated, it will take you only a few minutes without taking anything completely apart guys. You will just sit in your vehicle, comfortably check it on your phone, so we will explain what device we use. Uh, now. Uh, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way, we can keep providing this absolutely free information to you. If you need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, guys, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools, supplies from, and you can save yourself quite a bit of money. So, with that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here. Guys. This is a Ford C-Max hybrid plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Now it has two batteries plug-in and a hybrid battery as well so you can drive it in pure electric mode or you can drive it as a hybrid vehicle once you run out of il el uh, uh, electric power in the main battery guys. So what you need to do you need to find the OBD port for your vehicle guys. Hybrid, electric, plug-in, whatever it is you have a plug-in electric uh, uh, OBD port. The two that we'll be using is the Tink 2 right here. I'll put the link in the description of the video below which one it is. It's amazing too that can pay itself off in practically one time use. You need that too guys because you can access every computer system in your car and these modern cars may have up to 50 computers guys so definitely uh, check it out. I will put the link exactly which one it is in the description below. We'll click to start the Ignition on without the engine being started. We'll go to all system diagnostics. You can see it works on almost any car you can think of. It's amazing too. Check out how many cars it supports. And you always have new updates as well. So, okay, now we go back, we click, okay, right here, VIN decoding. It will communicate, it will turn blue now, okay. There is communication. It will decode the VIN number and tell us that we have a 4C Max 2013 model. Perfect. Here, what do we need to do now? Just follow the instructions on the screen. In our case, it will ask us to verify that ignition switch is on. It is. Now, it's establishing communication with all your computing systems and modern cars have quite a few. That specific Ford probably has close to 40 computers. You can go to system selection. Here are all the different computers for your specific car, check it out. Okay, and you need to find something such as battery module, battery control module, or hybrid module, anything like that guys, that relates to the hybrid system. Here, what you can do, you can click special functions, cell voltage right there. Follow the screen, the instructions on the screen, pull the e-brake, it says, and block the front and rear wheels so the car doesn't roll on us. Now, you can check the voltage in each cell, check it out. We have 84 cells, the voltage in each one of those is displayed here. And uh, you can see it's somewhere around 4 volts, all of them. Really close to each other, if one of them deviates, it's different, or vari uh, there is variation, then you guys have a bad cell and you can find out which one it is easily that way. Another way that you can test if the cells are good and bad, okay, you can go to uh, read fault codes, check that as well, but you can go to uh, read data stream right here, it's going to show you all the parameters for the battery here and under the battery guys you can check, okay, here it will te teach you the voltage, it will show you the voltage, the percentage of charge, okay, 92.6% percent percentage of charge current, it will show you the, the variation in the modules as well, different cells. So it will tell you all that te internal temperature, uh, you can see if the battery and all that stuff will be shared there. So uh, you can see guys, definitely, definitely a tool that I will recommend. Uh, hopefully guys, uh, the video will be helpful to any of you that need to find out how to test battery voltage cells. Thank you for watching and see you next time.